Damn, no. That's the wrong button. Why am I hitting that button? That doesn't nothing. That's just nothing. So go over here, get the antidote, and heal up Donatello. Now, a fun thing, uh, when you give an item... Nah, sorry, my throat was drying up there. A fun thing is, when you get an item, you... do something. You... The Pokémon will come forward or backwards, depending on how much it likes or hates you. The closer it comes, and more pixelated it gets, the more it likes you. But if it's neutral, it'll just stay as is. So that's something to keep in mind. Now this guy is not mandatory? No, he's not mandatory, thank god. Um, there's only one mandatory fight, actually. Which, there's about four or five fights you can get in here, and there's only one that's mandatory. But I'll show off the guy that was down there, because he's supposed to be technically your first battle, so I'll show him off. Don't worry, I'll give him love. Love, 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 love. Hey, you have Pokemon! Come on! Let's battle them! Okay, why not? And it's Rick. Gotta love Rick. And he's got a Weedle. What is it with Weedles? No, couldn't give Carapy some love, could you? No, it had to be Weedle. Lovely, lovely Weedle. And if this poisons me, I swear on your grave, I will come and through, reach through the game and strangle your little neck. And string shot. Considering Donatello's speed isn't exactly top notch, uh, I should maybe go Michelangelo. I have four options. I go for Donatello. I don't care. Donatello, Raphael, Leonardo, and Michelangelo. Mikey! I could have gone for Mikey. Mikey would have been a badass name for a squirrel. Nah, Donatello. Go Donatello. Donatello. Or Splinter would have been an option. But that would be more Rata slash Kate. I'm rambling now, aren't I? I'm not even paying attention to the fight. There's a Weedle. It's a level 6 Weedle who's only using String Shot for some odd, benign, insane reason. I don't know why. Maverick grew to level 6. And didn't get any attack points. Donatello's level 8. He gets more special attack, which actually will benefit me later on. Um, you know, let's have Maverick fight. We'll have a tackle war. Oh yeah. I have got potions, so if Maverick does get kind of bashed and bumped and bruised, then it's all good. Oh, free damage from a Caterpie? That's, that's not... Oh no. Because the AI is so weird in this game, it doesn't... It will use String Shot when String Shot is not required. I mean, you could have got me down to four and hope for a critical hit. I could be dead, but no. Two String Shots which could equate to 6 damage, or possibly killing me, if he got a critical hit in. But no, the AI is stupid. Whoa. That's a big boost for Maverick. A very big boost indeed. No, he cannot. He cannot hack it whatsoever. Um, I'm going to use items. Because I can't be arse walking all the way back and editing out all the walking. So 13 and... what's that? 15? Well, that's not too bad to use a potion for. And I've got 8 of them. It's not like I'm going to go through them all, because I will be training off-camera. I'm just going to record up to... Um, now I'll skip Yaki, come back and fight you when I'm hunting down uh, the other... Now, there's a new addition beat that wasn't in the first three. Uh, this guy, he wasn't there before. So, he, he's good. He can chill there. I don't care about him. Now, you do get... Uh, that's something I like how they added into dungeons, that they'll add in random... Call... I think that was Caterpie. Or was that Weedle? Caterpie or Weedle. Okay, oh, that guy... Uh, is that guy fighting, or...? Damn it! I'm showing this. Okay, this guy is a du uh, du 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 duel. It's Charlie. He's got Metapod. Ooh, we haven't come across Metapod, so I have to show this fight. Lovely. Tackle. I don't know if this one knows... No, he just knows Harden. So, sorry, Maverick. 
Because you don't have any flying moves, I'm going to have to use Donatello. You don't get another one, get a flying move for another two levels, I think. Is it nine? It's nine or ten that uh, Pidgey learns Gust. So, we'll bubble it. Bubble attack, the most least threatening move in the game. No, wait, Splash. Never mind. I forgot about Splash. I was half tempting to try and raise a Gyarados. Like, get the Magikarp uh, just before Mount Moon. But then I realized how much of a pain that would be. And how long I'd be doing that for. I swear, last time I did that, I didn't get a Gyarados until after Lieutenant Surge. I am not doing it for that long. I don't care how awesome Gyarados is, I am not training it for that long. Or waiting. I I hate waiting to get Pokemon, because I feel like you're just a new addition, you haven't experienced what we have, I haven't trained you, I caught you at a reasonable level, and you, you just joined in, trying to take credit for all our hard work. No, you're an outsider to me. Although that may be a, bit, a little bit narcissistic or cynical, I don't know. But I do have a solid way of how I view Pokemon. I mean, some people play it one way, some people play it another. I like just capturing the six and we go all go on a magical adventure of imagination. Well, mind you, I'm also 20 and insane. So it's just me. Well, 20 at the time of recording this. It won't be 21 for another 8 months. Now that I think about it. I don't know anymore. I'm wondering if this will be my... I'm just checking the weather outside because it was really foggy and cold. So if I sound kind of fluctuated there, that was me tilting my head at the window. I'm not paying attention to the fight. I'm just mashing the A button because that's all Maverick can do. Tackle. Tackle. Metapod. Now I'm keeping him out to get more XP. I'm, I'm actually surprised how much XP these guys give. So it's worth your time fighting them. Mind you, I am only going at this with two Pokemon at the moment, so... Meh. Now, don't worry if you wanted Charmander. You can always train him up until he learns Metal Claw, which is 13 to 15. It's like one of the last moves, so you'd have to train him quite a bit. But because he's got fire moves, it makes training in Viridian Forest quite easy because you can just torch all the bugs. However, if you're too lazy to do that, there's a couple of Pokemon back to where the optional boss fight is, which I'll recommend when we get there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I'm just bubbling away. That's the fun about this, I don't have to pay attention. I can ramble during the battles. And this happens. It's amazing. I'm not sure how much I will record, because I will have to stop and kind of grind a bit of the... Um, Yes, Gust, thank God. Right, now you can be useful in these fights. Oh, now Donatello's level 9. Okay, why not? I'm not complaining. You complain. Yeah, good. Superb. Now there's one more, there's one more fight that I can fight. So like I said, I'll probably just stop just outside there. And Canopy. So let's see if Gust will do... I'm going to show this fight just to see if uh, Gust will have a lot of damage. Because we saw how little it... There we go. Nearly a critical... Uh, good hit. So Pidgey can be good. I know it's against a Caterpie. But you know what I mean. Pidgey is good. Pidgey's a good Pokemon and a lot of people neglect it in favor of Spearow or even Zubat. But... I don't know, Zubat's weak to quite a bit more, because the normal thing, that at least helps with, um, uh, ghost types, uh, but, ghost types, and, but if you go with Zubat, you kind of end up with, uh, weakness to psychic, you'll be, you'll be susceptible to ghost attacks, I mean, Maverick's gonna be damn handy when we come to, come on to, come to face with, uh, ghosts. So that's why I wanted to keep, that's why I wanted a normal slash flying type, and I know, and the Spiro's being done by a couple of people. I wanted to go with Pidgey. I always wanted a Pidgey, so I'm going to go with Pidgey now. Right, so let's get this uh, optional fight over and done with. Why, why is the rush? Because I'm starting, I need to pee. I, no, do I need to pee? No, I don't. 
Alright, so Weedle. Yes, Weedle. I may actually record more after I've leveled up. I mean, you'll see in episode 4 if I actually have done that or not. Poison Sting! And of course you poison me. Why wouldn't you? Poison. Now, I'm kind of hoping I don't come across the Pokemon, because then I'll have to record that. Or not record, I'm not sure. So, I'm sort of hoping I don't come across it. And part of me is hoping I do. Either way. Now just go, just go up to the exit. And I can I may have glitched out the poison thing. I did, because it's supposed to be every four or five steps. And Pidgey loves me, likes me a little bit already. That's good. So that's not too, too bad for us three episodes. Got Donatello and Maverick going. And there we are. End of Viridian Forest, just like that. So I'll see you guys next video when we take on an optional boss and hopefully have a third team member when they come back. If not, then say la vie. If we do, score! See you then!